Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm just here, I'm kind of like in the old area of our barn. My mom has a couple of plants here and this is kind of like her plant propagation station for in the springtime. But I'm here right now cause I'm gonna try and give some of my goats a copper bolus. I've noticed that some of them are getting kind of fishtaily and some of the ones that have black coloration are kind of getting like a little bit of a coppery tinge which means that they are more than likely copper deficient so i'm gonna get ahead of it and give them one of these so i lost my little bolus gun i have no idea where it is i just got it so what i'm gonna do is put this i'm just gonna try it with one goat first i'm just gonna open this into this little bowl here. And I'm gonna put some pellets in there and see if they'll just take it like that. Cause having a copper deficiency can also affect how fertile they are. So we're gonna see if I can get at least one to eat this. And one thing that's really important to note is that if you give them too much copper, they can get copper toxicity which also isn't good, it can be fatal to goats. So I've never given them anything like copper bolusy before. And honestly, the minerals that I can get are not actually designed for goats. This I had to order off of Amazon because they just don't offer it in stores here in Canada. So a lot of the stuff that I need to buy, I have to order in special from the States, which is kind of expensive and a pain in the butt because the shipping costs so much right now. But we're gonna see if Rhea will eat this. Okay, so Ginger's gonna get really in this. <laughs> Just one, Ginger, come here. <laughs> so, that was a little chaotic, so I had to put the camera down, but basically a copper bolus ensures that they'll have enough copper intake. And they need that as goats as part of their nutrition. And they need a good amount of it in order to stay healthy. So one of the things that in Canada is, at least in Saskatchewan, Canada, there are not a whole lot of goat producers out here, so it's really difficult to get certain products in. Like, I can't get a certain goat mineral that's made special for goats. It's hard to get dairy goat feed or, you know, just goat feed generally that has enough of the proportions that they should have. So I, like I said, I have to order in that stuff and the fish tailing, you can kind of see, like she's got a really fluffy tail and it's just kind of spiky looking. And I'm not a huge fan of that. So I know I haven't given her anything. She's been here for a little while and that's kind of just started to develop. So you can give these copper boluses every six months or so just to kind of top them up i would like to put them on a six month schedule for that and i think i will be doing that i'd actually probably like to do the bolus instead but i couldn't find where i put it i don't know what i did with it it's a really tiny one that would actually fit that pill but yeah so i'm gonna see if i can find that and then I might just bolus them all. I just wanted to see if it would be possible that the goats took it like that and evidently they do. So yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. I'm not gonna do all of them right now <laughs> just cause that'll take a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go feed some horses right now and then I'm gonna milk cows, I guess really nice out today. It's like plus six degrees Celsius. And Samurai is singing his sweet nothings again to the ladies. Are you trying to be romantic? Huh? 
stinky boy. I'm not touching your face any lower than that. <laughs> And there's Batman. He's still doing good. What? You only want the camera on you? <laughs> so... He just peed on the lid. You're gross. You're a nasty boy. It was sitting on the ground here, leaning against the... Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> you look really proud of yourself. Freaking guy. I'm gonna rinse that off because, ew. I have to touch this every day, so I'm not gonna do that if a buck pees all over it. <laughs> He didn't get the other side, so this is fine. This is fine. So that's Freya and Luna, they're half sisters. And I trained Freya last year, put about 20 rides on her, and then I think I put about seven to 10 rides on her this summer. Not a whole lot, because I got really busy with building stuff for the goats. Hey, okay. yeah. But my plan is to try and train Luna, this one, this winter, and to put a couple more rides on Freya. And then Juliet here, the bay. she's 17 years old. And she's the one that keeps hurting her joints, like down there, I, th I can't remember what you call them. It's like your ankle bone kind of, but then on a horse. And she hurt herself this fall when I finally had more time to ride. <laughs> and then, she hurt herself last year and the year before that so at this point it's kind of like a yearly thing the first time she did it i was super worried very uh i don't know kind of fatalistic about it because i love her to death she's one of my best friends and i cried over it i called the vet i was very worried <laughs> 
And then the second and third time I knew what I was doing so I was able to fix her up myself without having to get the vet out because if I have to get the vet out at like minimum of once a year to fix that horse then it's gonna end up being a little bit more expensive than it needs to be. And then we have the old man over here. This is Bobby. He's 26. And he's definitely showing his age because he can't walk well anymore. But, and he's showing through here a little bit, but he looks pretty good for being 26 years old. And he is papered, so he is definitely 26 years old. I kind of spread the feet along the fence line just so they don't have to eat all right next to each other. Because Bobby likes to bully these two and Juliet likes to bully everyone. So right now it looks like they're getting along. <laughs> but sometimes they can be a little bit ornery with each other. Just, just like people, we don't always get along either. So they... Uh, they have the option to eat farther away from each other if they want to. Like, this is crazy. I didn't think I was going to see slush until springtime. Wild. Now this weather might feel really nice for us <laughs> and it might feel nice temporarily for the animals but it's actually not great because they've already grown all of their really thick winter coats so right now they're going to be sweating and over the next week it's supposed to start to get colder again so that sweat's going to freeze and then they're going to get chilled and that's when you have to worry about pneumonia so all of these animals that we have outside here, we gotta watch them so that they don't, you know, get too far gone with a cold or any kind of respiratory problems because that's when it's gonna start is when the weather is going like up and down like crazy. So we've gotta keep a really close eye on them to make sure that they don't get sick.